Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another executor for Roblox. This executor is currently working with the latest version of Bifron. Now, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps and let's get right into it. First things first, this executor will only work on Windows 10 and 11. This will not work on any other operating system. So if you're on Windows 11, come over to the star icon right here. And if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection. This step is really important, so make sure you do it before you jump into the actual download. From here, go into manage settings and turn off real-time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, you need to turn this off. Otherwise, the download will not work. So when you do click this, it will give you a little prompt to go ahead and click on yes, and it will turn this off. Once you've done that, go ahead and close out of that and go into the first link in the description, which will be the download link for the executor. When you go to the link, it won't be the same page. It will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. From there, go ahead and click on the executor download, and that will take you to this page right here. From here, go ahead and click on unlock content once you've completed these steps, and it will take you to the download page right here. From here, you can go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to click on my desktop. Go ahead and click on save and that should start the download for you. If for any reason it does not do that and you've already turned off your virus and threat protection, simply go ahead and hold down control and press J and that will open up your downloads page and from here you can manually approve it. So once you do have it downloaded, go ahead and double click the download manager and that will take a couple of seconds to open up. Here we go. From here, go ahead and click on next and it will give you a bunch of different offers. If you do wish to install any of these, it's completely up to you. These are completely optional. So it's giving me a free VPN. Now I do already have a VPN, so I'm going to click decline. Um, it's also giving me Adobe software, so it's completely up to you. If you do wish to install any of these, I'm just going to click on decline. And once you do have, or once you have completed those steps, um, it will give you a little link. Once you do open that, you can copy the link. Once you have the link, go back into your browser, paste the link, and you will be able to get your download for the executor. So again, I'm just going to choose my desktop and I'm going to click save. Um, I also have Opera downloading in the background from the download manager, as you can see. Um, I just close out of that for now. And there we go. So I do want to also point out that this link will not work for you guys. You have to generate your own link by following the steps that I've just done. And once you do have your executor downloaded, for me, you can see that it has stopped the download. So I have to go back into my downloads page and click on keep dangerous file and click on keep anyway. And now if I go back to my desktop, you can see it is right there. So let me go ahead and close out of those two right there and let me close this as well and try again perfect and perfect so there we go so once you have the electron um, executor downloaded go ahead and right click it and click on extract all and click on extract and that will create a new folder for you and that should open a new folder as well but now go ahead and close out of that and you can now delete the zipped folder from here go back into your virus and threat protection go into manage settings once again and scroll down until you see exclusions. Go ahead and click on add or remove exclusions. Go ahead and click on add an exclusion. Click on folder and choose wherever you have the extracted folder. For me, it's on my desktop right here. So I'm just going to single click it. Make sure you don't double click it like that. If you've accidentally done that, simply click back and make sure it's highlighted and click on select folder. And that should be added to your exclusions right here. Once you see it added to your exclusions, you can go back scroll up and now if you wish to turn on your real-time protection once again you can do that so once you've done all of those steps you're now ready to use the executor so you can open up the executor folder open this up and go ahead and double click that if you get this little uh, prompt right here click on more info and click run anyway and that will start the executor for you now from here if it does ask you to get a key which it will if you if it's your first time using it go ahead and click on get key and it will take you to link word ties we can simply follow the two checkpoints it's very simple if you do have any questions you can join our discord server and ask us there um the discord server will be in the description below but yeah so you simply go into the um the link word ties page that it offers you and you complete the step and it will give you the key um each key lasts for 24 hours you have to, you have to do this step again after 24 hours um and there we go so you've got your executor now you can go into your microsoft store this will not work on the web store of the uh, of roblox there currently isn't any executor that works on the web store when there is i will definitely be making a video on that so there we go so just simply go into your roblox in the microsoft store and once you have opened that up you can click on attach just simply click it one time and wait for it to say connected over here you can see it has now it says connected so we're pretty much ready to go into any game so let's just jump into arsenal 
and I will also show you a bunch of the or a few of the settings uh, available on the actual executor. So you can see save tab. So that simply means if I close out of this um, and if I do have a script here, it will actually save it for next time. So I won't lose my scripts. You also got FPS Unlocker, which I do feel like works on the Microsoft Store version. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it does work. Usually there, I haven't been able to find any executor that actually has an FPS Unlocker for the Microsoft Store version. Um, you also got transparency so you can see uh, like a transparent effect you've got fade so if you kind of go off the window it will have a fade effect uh resizable you can actually change the size of the executor um you also got miscellaneous so you can join the discord server and kill uh, the roblox process which will simply just close roblox so you can open it again um this is useful if your roblox is for example frozen and of course you've got the credits right here now let me go ahead and grab a script and let's go ahead and execute it and try it out the script does take a couple of seconds to load you can see it has it is currently working in the background and there we go so the executor is working perfectly fine it's loaded the script and you can see it's working perfectly fine guys there are no issues whatsoever now if you do experience any issues whatsoever with the download or with the executor itself um i do recommend joining our discord server where, where you can ask us the questions and yeah there we go i will leave a little gameplay on in the background as well and yeah hopefully you did enjoy the video guys if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching